Hello, welcome to Sergey's Chemistry. Today we are going to look at test formaldehydes using Fehlin solution. What is it actually? It's a mixture of two solutions, Fehlin 1 and Fehlin 2, which have to be mixed just before making the test. Fehlin 1 is just solution of copper to sulfate in water, light blue liquid. And Fehlin 2 is solution of sodium hydroxide and potassium sodium tartrate. Sodium hydroxide as we add Fehling 2, precipitates copper 2 into copper 2 hydroxide, which is insoluble. You see this <coughs> blue precipitate. But tartrate can form complexes with copper, making it soluble back again. Complex of copper with tartrate is deep blue, like here. Now Fehling solution is ready, and here are the red chemicals which are going to test. Glucose is an aldehyde, at least it has this conformation in water solution, and starch for control, which is not an aldehyde because it's polymer of glucose. It cannot open up. Now we are ready to start, and for that we need to increase temperature, and water bath is the easiest way. Hot water is added, and reaction starts immediately. You see the change on the right, and there is no change on the left. What is going on? Aldehyde, here is generic aldehyde, is oxidized into carboxylate ion, losing two electrons. These electrons are going to oxidizing agent, which is copper-2 here. It's very weak oxidizing agent. So our test is for very strong reducing ones, aldehydes. When copper-2 ions receive n electrons, one electron each, they turn into copper-1 oxide, which is brown in the beginning, or red if we run this reaction really for long enough time. So here is the end result. Positive result for glucose. It can look brown just like that, depends on lightning in fact, but here I'm proud of my red color of copper one oxide. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel and see you next time, bye.